What's up everybody? In today's video I'm going to give you a full guide on how to use the Minecraft Quarry Plus mod. Now over the years this mod has changed a ton so if you're jumping back into it now you'll notice that it's completely different. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started all the way up to having the best quarries possible. Let's get right into it. So the base level quarry that you can get yourself is the solid fuel quarry and it requires three furnaces, two diamond pickaxes, a block of gold, and three all the modium nuggets. Now these are quite hard to find in the early game, which makes it not the easiest thing to get. But first of all, I'd recommend starting with this because it requires the least amount of energy. Now it's super simple to go ahead and use. All you have to do is place it down. So I placed it here and you can see it's created a little border round here. This is basically the area that's going to be mined out to the ground. So make sure in this area there is nothing that is uh, you want to keep basically. So next thing we're going to do, we can open up here and we're going to put some fuel in here. So you can put any fuel in here that a furnace would take. So you can do things like coal. I'd recommend doing coal. It's, it's the best one. So I'm going to put coal in here. And now that I've put coal in, you can see that it's starting to mine away this area here. And once it's finished mining this area, it's going to start mining out everything below the ground here. So now you can see it's actually building the frame around this here and it's going to start mining. Now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and place a chest on the top of this and it's going to pump out all of the stuff that it mines into this chest here. Bearing in mind, you can see the area that this is going to cover. One chest is not going to be enough, but I'll cover how to connect more chests to it later. So now that we've got the basic one, it's time to upgrade to a Quarry Plus. And to make a Quarry Plus, we're actually going to need to get this block here. And this is called the Workbench Plus. So what we can do, we can open this up. And you're going to have to put these items inside. So 32 diamonds, 32 gold, 64 iron, 16 redstone, and 4 pearls. I'm just going to use ender pearls because they're the easiest. So you can put all these in here. And it's now going to show you the recipes for what you can make. You can make a mining well. Or you can make a quarry plus. So I'm going to quick click quarry plus and it's going to make it here. So you can see it's going to take a little bit of time to do. But it should go ahead and create this. Once you've gone ahead and got this block you can place it down the exact same as this one over here. I'm going to place it here. And it's going to make the exact same square radius here. Except with this block here you can't actually put fuel into it. For this you're going to need to power it with some kind of power mod. Now there's tons of different powers you can use. I tend to like making reactors for it. I find those are the best and it's the fastest, but you can use anything. And you can see I've just put a solar panel on the top of it here and now this has started it to work. So it's going to go ahead and be powered completely by the sun so you don't need to waste your coal on it. Now just like other tools in the game, you can actually enchant this so it's faster, um, uh, has unbreaking, you can add fortune, you can add silk touch, whatever you might need. So if you want stone, silk touch might be a good option. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this thing called an enchantment mover and you can also make the enchantment mover in the workbench plus. So we're going to open this and we want to get an item that already has the enchant on. So this has got fortune 3, I'm going to place it in here like this. Then I'm going to get my quarry plus, put it over here and I'm going to click which enchantment I want it to get. You can go up and down if you've got multiple. So I can click fortune and you can see now this quarry has fortune 1. And it's taken one level out of this. If I wanted to, I could add more like that. And you can see now it's, it's all the levels have been moved across here. So just in the same way we placed that there, we can now go ahead, place it here. And it's going to have fortune on it. So there's a few really cool little modules that you can add onto the Quarry Plus. The first one here is the Pump Plus. So you want to add this. And basically what this means is if you add a tank... Uh, you can use any kind of tank. If you put a tank next to it here, if there's any liquid inside of the hole that is quarried out, then it's going to put that liquid into the tank, which is great if you're trying to get anything in there like lava, oil, anything like that. The next one we can use is the experience pump for the qu quarry. And what we're going to do is put this next to the quarry here. And every time it mines a ore or something that gives you experience, it's going to put it into here. And you can just right click it and then you're going to get the XP yourself. Now what you can do with both of these modules is you can actually put them into your crafting bench and instead of having to have them next to them next to the quarry you can just put it inside here as a module. So it just saves having the space around and you can see I've right clicked that and it's giving me the XP there. 
The last module we're going to talk about here is the void module. And what you can do is you can uh, set blocks that you don't want to be collected. So for example, if you've already got a ton of cobblestone, dirt, gravel, that kind of stuff, and you only want to get ores, you can basically right click this and inside you can um, select the blocks. You can put dirt in there, whatever. And once you put that inside of here, it's basically going to void those items and it's no longer going to collect them. So that's a really useful one for saving space and storage when you're quarrying. Now, you might be thinking, how can you make your quarry bigger? Well, there's actually three different types of markers you can use, which each expand the area. You've got the marker plus, the flexible marker, and the chunk marker. For me, I find the marker plus the most usable. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we need to find an area we want to quarry out. So let's say we want to quarry this over here. We place the first one down and we can right click on it and we can put a redstone signal next to it so like a redstone torch and that's going to basically show you where else you can place the other markers so we can go ahead to this next along here and we can place another one like that and then again if we want to we can put a torch here so it's going to tell us the next one so then we can place the next one say here and that's going to, you need three of them. And once you've set up three, you can right click on it and that's going to give you the area. So if I go ahead and you'll see, boom, that's the area created there. And it's now going to mine this area as opposed to the small one that it already has preset for it. Now I believe that you just go ahead and you place the quarry here. Maybe you place it next to this one here. There we go. So you place it next to the marker like that. And you can see now the quarry is going to mine this area. Now, I believe that the markers that you've just set disappear and you lose them, which is kind of annoying because they are a little bit expensive. The next item we have inside of the mod is the chunk destroyer. And it works exactly like the quarry, except it destroys a whole chunk at a time. And it also requires a ton of um, uh, uh, power. And it's also quite an expensive recipe. It requires a ton of ender eyes, uh, dragon head it is very expensive but it is kind of overpowered so i've given it some power here it's going to create the area just as it did before and then it should go ahead and start destroying the chunk now the more power you have the faster it's going to go ahead and do this so remember that the next item that we can use here is the status checker so we can go up to this machine here for example we can right click on it and it's going to give us a ton of information about what's going on so it's going to tell us um, the progress, the current work progress, the energy. It's going to give us loads of different bits of information um, just so you can see how far it is, all that kind of stuff. So that is basically everything you need to know to get started with this mod. It's really, really useful once you get into it, but it can be a little bit tricky to get the resources at first to get into it. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it helped you out so other people can watch the same video and get the same great advice. Thank you for watching.